Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. So today I have a ta-da. It's kind of a ta-da. Well, it is a ta-da. I finished it. <laughs> it's finished. <laughs> um, okay, so <laughs> to bring your attention to some things that, that I think are really cool, um, I've got the lights kind of tucked in back there, the ones that I showed you, those little tiny round ones. Uh, and they're just adorable because that brings... I don't know, a bit of pop and wow to the, you can see in there. All right, so I've got, um, I've got to pull my lace back out here because it's trying to run away and hide, okay? So I've got that lace around there. I made my blankets. They're just like felt and fabric. I put, tucked them up there and there's one poking out here just because you got to, Look, if you're going to sit and read a bunch of books, you're going to have to have a blanket and stuff, right? <laughs> nice, comfy cushions and, and stuff. Okay, so that's what that is. I've got books tucked up in here and all up in here and in here and here. And this is my little book. I took my bookshelf apart and I put it half of it up here and half of it down here because it just, I don't know, I just wanted it that way. <laughs> it's just me being me. Um, so I made these and they're all stuck in. Now, these ones are not glued in. This one is supposed to be, but it kind of came loose earlier. But anyways, this one's glued on. Uh, the rest of them are just pull outable. So you can actually pull them out and make little notes and journal in them if one wanted to. It's kind of cute that way. This is my little, um, it's a little glass jar with a cork in it. <laughs> And it's filled with mustard seeds. Um, and I did that purposefully because the Savior taught if you have the faith of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. And I believe that. And I call it my little bottle of faith and hope because you have to have hope to have faith. And if you have faith and hope, then you're going to have charity. And you can... It just makes life better. Even if you don't believe in the religion I believe in or, or anything, just you can still have faith and hope and charity and you can still have, you know, good things going on. I just believe that. Um, okay, so little bottle of faith and hope. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> okay, also I put in um, these... Uh, one of them is a journal card because I just wanted one that way. But I made five different bookmarks. Now, some of them I backed on themselves. You don't have to do that. You can... Am I in shot? Look. Let me move this over and pull this up. Um, they're just really pretty. I think they are. Um, and you can... You know, bookmarks go with a bunch of books, right? Well, they're a little bit big, but still. <laughs> I just thought they finished the project off perfectly right so this is scooch this over this is the freebie sheet that i'm giving with this uh ta-da <laughs> um it's uh like i said five these ones i backed well two of four of them i backed on each other and then one of them I backed like if you were going to make a tag or a journal card and you can write on the back of it and you can do them all that way or I just wanted to give options and yeah, that's just the way I did these. Now I'm going to make a whole nother set and I'm probably going to do each one of them with uh, journaling space on the back of them. That way you can make notes as you read a book. Um, I just, you know, I just wanted to give some options for that and I think that just turned out perfect for this side in this big pocket and they're I think they're about six six and a half inches long which is good size for um a bookmark right <laughs> uh and so yeah this I just had to give something else it's a thing right <laughs> I'm weird that way but uh that I think they're pretty just 
to me, I think they're beautiful. So I hope you guys like those and have some fun, you know, make you some book. It will make a really great uh, Christmas present even. Especially if you're given a book and give a bookmark to go with it, right? So anyways, that's just pretty. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Now, since I started in here, I'll close it and show you the outside. It's more or less the same-ish as what I did the other day when I was doing the uh, craft along part. When I was doing some extra finishing up bits kind of thing. This is mostly the what I did to finish up in here because it's so cool see out here i did put the hitching post all right and i put this uh eyelet in it's one of those wide eyelets right and it wouldn't go all the way through okay so i glued it on there after i poked my hole in and i threaded my um this is uh i think it's a one mil uh, elastic piece and then I just covered the inside with I don't know if you can see that uh, with um, a piece of the brick wallpaper and that's a freebie um, on my website so I just you know I just poked up punched a hole punched um, uh, some scrap that I had of the brick wall and covered over this side of it after I had strung this through and I put a piece of um yep <laughs> um paper clip I cut off a piece of a paper clip to because I had it tied in a knot I'm gonna get my words together and then I put the paper clip so that it wouldn't pull through right and then I glued all that down uh with the glue gun right and then I covered all that up because it looked a little you know yucky so i covered all that up with the paper and maybe you can see it you can't really tell it's there now um just a little bitty lump right there okay but you can't tell it's there and with the lace around here you really can't tell it's there so this just goes around and holds that so that it doesn't get you know springy opening and there's that in the back i just left you know plainish now it probably moved around let me see I'm trying to, um, it didn't, yeah, it's still good. Um, I'm trying to see what it's going to look like because I'm going to display it on a table and if somebody comes in and picks it up, I want to say, um, is it going to move, you know, but it's not moving too much, even the things that aren't glued down because there's a whole bunch in here that's not glued down, okay? So, uh, yeah, this is it. It's finished. It was fun. I hope you guys made one. If you did, you know, share pictures, right? <laughs> I want to see yours. Um, and I'm going to make some more uh, room box, shadow box type things. Especially after I saw that one, you know, I, t I told you about in the last video on this. Um, where they took an old picture frame. I mean, it was really an old one. They Look, they made a bathroom. I'm not going to make a bathroom. But uh, I'm not dissing anybody's bathroom again. It's just, you know, I'm going to make like a craft room. I think that'll be fun. Or even a kitchen. That would be fun. I love to, you know, piddle around in the kitchen. That's one of my favorite things. So, craft room, kitchen. Um, I don't know. I'll come up with some more ideas. This next year is going to be fun. I got plans, thoughts, dreams, ideas, and all kinds of stuff like that. So <laughs> you guys come along and have fun with me. This is so much fun. Um, okay, so I'm going to quit rambling. I'm going to remind you about the um, drawing. If you want to be in the drawing for a free digital journal kit, leave a comment and you're automatically put in. Well, I just put your name on the list because it's not automatic, really automatic. I'm rambling again. <clears throat> I'm trying to not do that too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing okay so but you know you guys let me know what you think what's your fate would you do this differently um would you make this as a gift for somebody i'm thinking about that because i think it would be a really cool um gift like for a birthday or whatever other occasion you would give somebody a gift something like this could be a, a really nice gift 
And if someone made it like a mini journal, I mean, you'd have to do it a little bit different, but you could make this and then stick a little mini journal in here and then they would have two gifts, right? I don't know. I'm rambling again. Anyways, you guys, you guys have fun. Let me know what you think about it and what you would do differently or what you would do with it if you had one, if you make one. What are you going to do with it? Because right now I'm just going to display it, but I am thinking about gift giving. I'm always doing that. So you guys let me know what you think. Go get your freebies. Make your bookmarks because they are really, really pretty. And you guys take care. Please like and subscribe. Pretty please. Thanks for watching. TTFN.